Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with the NECA Aliens 2-pack of Private William Hudson and the Xenomorph Warrior. First, we'll take a look at the Xenomorph, which uh, is based on the regular Xenomorph action figure, but they added these little impact blasts where the uh, their little acid blood is coming out from the chest. Overall, though, the uh, figure itself has a nice sheen to it because, you know, they are all wet and gross in the movie. So they, they did coat them with a nice wet-looking, I don't know, coat of something. Um, the sculpt is good. If you've seen the regular one, it's the same one as Series 1 with the uh, brown paint line. There's also a blue paint line version. But the, uh, the sculpt for this figure is really solid. And the basic paint, the brown over black, does read good. Here we'll go in for a closer look. So you just see like the paint on the arms and on the hand. The sculpting of the hand is really good. Good finger positions, I think. You can see all the little sculpting that went into these, you know, Giger style lines. And you can see the tubes on the back. It's all really soft though. Oh, and that just came right off, so that sucks. Aside from that little problem, here's a look at his head. Um, everything about this figure is kind of loose, by the way. Like. His tubes are really soft, his head's joint is really loose, and uh, even when you open up his mouth and pull out the little second thing, this is really loose in there, and it's all soft and bendy. I don't know why this material is so crappy, but it's, you know, even his arms have like a bend to them. It's kind of disappointing. Also, I've always had a problem with all of the NECA Xenomorphs. I have a hard time getting them to stand, and this figure is no different. There's so much weight towards the top, and uh, they've got these little, like, little ankle joints and if there's any bend to the plastic, you know, you try to get them like a bent position and then distribute the weight evenly, but the tail helps. That's like the best standing I've ever got on an alien figure so quickly. Now, I was saying that the Xenomorph had loose joints right out of the package. This Hudson figure's got like a really loose left leg joint. It's really kind of disappointing that he's like that right out of the box. Um, but let's take a closer look at the figure itself. You can see he's got... Um, basic like hinge shoulder piece with the uh, bicep swivel. I also like that the bicep swivel leads to a single joint elbow which leads to really good articulation in the wrists which really allows you to get him in a good position when it comes to holding his pulse rifle. Uh, he also despite the armor on the front has a waist joint because the armor does hang over the actual figure it's like a rubbery material that goes over the plastic base. So I like that he's got the waist joint. Um, he's got the ball joint with a hinge in it for the leg, including this super loose one, which is annoying. Um, there is no thigh cut, but there is a double knee joint, so I like that. And I like that these knee pads cover the knee joint. Um, and then he's got the ball joint for the foot, which is kind of limited by the... Uh, the leg armor, but he does have a hinge at the shoe, which is surprising. While we're looking at the shoe, let's take a look at the paint. Because the paint on this figure is awesome. The brown, the little dots for where the laces wrap around, then you look at all the armor and like the, the cuts that are in it, just as far as like the sculpting of it, how it's all rough and beaten up. I mean, the sculpt alone on this could be really good, but the paint really does add a lot. Just those little buckles and then the camouflage. Like, NECA did a good job painting camouflage on pants, and that can be pretty hard for small plastic. And then you look at, like, his rubbery armor, and the paint on that's really good. All the doodads hanging on his belt look really good and are really well painted. Like, this green is the same green as that, but there's a different kind of green, like a brownish green. So I'm glad they included that in there. And you have more stuff on the back of his armor. A lot of good little details painted on there. Um, he was in this package for a while with his head tilted, so the back of his neck piece is kind of bent and warped, so that pisses me off. But um, the writing on his helmet looks good. I don't know if I can focus in on that. With the game over written there. Now his head looks good too. This is a different head than the regular Hudson. That's what makes this figure interesting is that the regular Hudson had more of the uh, scared baby face, the game over man kind of face with no helmet. So it's just his hair and his face. This is the more angry assault face. I think he did a good job with his lip. 
I mean, the teeth are well painted. His uh, tongue is well painted, but man, they did a good job sculpting his mouth and, and lip because that really does look like uh, Bill Paxton. His eyebrows are a little cartoonishly painted. In fact, it's not even on the sculpted eyebrow there, so that's kind of lame. But uh, the helmet looks good. Now we'll attach his little back uh, camera mount. The hole in the back of his armor did not line up with the hole in the back of the figure, so it took me a while to pull the armor down and get the two holes to line up. But uh, it's on there and it looks pretty good. Now we'll take a closer look at the pulse rifle. I think they did a great job with this. It's one of the coolest like guns, I think, in movie history. And I think they did a good job with it. It certainly looks screen accurate and the paint is pretty clean. And I like the strap. It's one of the few things that's loose on these two figures that's supposed to be loose. And then also the uh, little motion tracker device. You see the little handheld piece there. The buttons on the side look good. You even see the little motion thing on the monitor. And the strap is pretty good as well. I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed with this 2-pack. I already have the Hicks 2-pack, and I didn't have any problems with that. But this, it took me forever and multiple takes to try to get these figures to stand just for one shot. <laughs> the alien's legs are really soft, not just at the joint, but at the actual legs themselves. They're made of like a rubbery material. I don't know why NECA went with such a shitty material for this, but this turned out awful. The ankle joints don't support anything, the legs bend, it's just kind of a nightmare. And Hicks, I mean, I'm sorry, Hudson's articulation is so loose to the legs that he tends to do the splits. Uh, I'm, I don't know, I wish I liked this more because I do like the face sculpt on Hudson, but this is not the best two-pack I've bought from the Alien series. Thanks for watching.